guys and gals, Dave and Joe out at U-Polar Parts. Today we're going to show you how to pull an alternator off a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee with a 4.7 liter engine. Say hello, Joe. How's it going, guys and gals? Anyways, so what we're going to need for our tools today is we're going to need a 13 millimeter socket, a 15 millimeter socket. First thing we're going to do is that we're going to disconnect the battery. You'll always want to disconnect the negative terminal. What that is going to do is de-energize the system. Next, right after that, we are going to move to the belt tensioner. You do want to take this 13 belt off just to make your life a lot easier. And that is a 15 millimeter socket. You're going to rotate that clockwise to bring the tension off the belt. Remove the belt from the pulleys and very carefully let that tensioner go. Next part is we are going to move to taking off the alternator. And as you can see, Joe is going to grab his 15 millimeter socket, loosen up the front bolt that's right down there. Now one thing is when you do take off these bolts, you're going to want to put them nicely in the engine bay, just for the fact if you do need to grab those parts, and also if anybody else does need those when they come out to their yard, you know exactly where they are. You don't want to throw them around. So right now we do have the two front bolts. We are going to switch to our 13 millimeter socket. He's going to take the back bracket off right there. He's going to take the power cable right off there. And that's your positive battery cable. That's how it, power actually goes from the alternator to charge your battery and run your electrical system off your car. One thing is you're always going to want to make sure that you do keep that nut and washer. Put it right back on there. Next thing you're going to see is that little electrical plug right in the back of that alternator. It does have a little push pin. All you're going to do is just go ahead and pull that right out, just like that. Make sure it gets out of your way. And we are going to have our pry bar where we're going to very, very carefully get that alternator up. You're going to ask, why don't we just want to take a sledgehammer? Well, folks, it's aluminum. It could break, and we don't want to waste all our hard work. Until next time, guys, go to our website at www.upullourparts.com. Dot com and check out the videos on Yank U.